Today. More stuff, more fun, yeah. cool stuff from Hobby Link Japan. Absolutely. What have you got to show off today? Oh, well, I do I have to show? I'm going to give away the surprise. Oh, all right. Yeah, what are you going to show? Well, I have this really amazing figure from the nice people at Yamato. This is the first entry in their new line of non scale posable action figures called New Romancer. And this is Ignis. She's from a video game and she is just gorgeous and I can hardly wait to take her out of the box and have fun with her. That sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Ryan likes that. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I am about to reveal what I am going to show. Oh yeah? Yeah. Ooh. And I get to go first, so let's <laughs> do it. Woohoo! Sanomaru has appeared on the scene. Oh no. Oh no. What is he doing with that plastic bag? <laughs> He's still playing with plastic bags. You gotta stop that. Quit that, Sanomaru. Man. They're dangerous. I mean, geez, Naughty He's puppy. just so accident prone. He's even got a bowl of ramen, on ramen his upside head. down on his head. So, But he is here to declare that I do not, in fact, get to go first. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Sorry. So you get to do it. Thank you, Sanomaru. No, so. <laughs> All right then. Okay, this is Ignis. She is uh, from the video game that is called, I'm gonna have to look at the side here, uh, Jingai Makyo. And she is the first entry in Yamato's new line of action figures that they're calling New Romancer. That's N-E-U-R-O-M-A-N-C-E-R. -E -E and uh, the New Romancer line is produced in conjunction with um, Cerberus Project TM who uh, is a group of sculptors that has done some really, really nice work for a lot, uh, several companies uh, and also Yamato. So uh, these figures are going to be really fantastic. Ignis here is the first one. She is uh, the famous heroine of this game, which I believe is kind of an arrow game. Uh, we're going to have a look at the back of the package there. Get an idea of some of the things she can, some of the trouble she can get into. Now, from, from here, mm -hmm. it looks like her top might come off. Uh, actually, I've looked into it, and her top does not come off. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's good news, because... Well, you know, you know, <laughs> this is a family of course, show. We write up, we, we, we get the dubious honor of being on this fine show, because we write up products for mm -hmm. Hobby Link Japan. We write up the item descriptions. And uh, a couple of days ago, you wrote this up, and mm -hmm. when I... When I handed it on to you, I, I said, I think this might be an adult thing. Mm -hmm. And you checked into it. Of course, we can't open them up when we write them up. And, and you said, no, you looked around online yeah. and said, no, no, it's not supposed to be an adult thing. Yeah. But for the show, we get to open it up. Mm -hmm. And then we will find out. Now, this is rated 15 and up. Mm -hmm. Just the way ratings work on Japanese toys, uh -huh. 15 and up, you can, you can have... What would you call it? Bare nipples? Bresticular nudity. Bresticular action. Nudity in the bresticular region. Yes. If Boobies. it's 18, Boobies, yeah. if it's 18 Then the whole up, thing comes off. Then, yeah, top yeah. and bottom. Yep. Yes. So. Frontal and back Because it nudity. says 15 and up, I, I am betting the top comes off. I haven't found any evidence that it does online. You want to make a bet? Can we bet? I'm, no, I, I'm not, I know enough not to bet with you. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> but we will take her out of the box and we'll have a look at her and we'll see what's going on and I'm sure that that'll be educational for all. Okay. This is like Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> well, this myth is waiting to get out of the package. And she is busty. So. Here she is. Ignis is out of the box and ready wow. for action. She has her gun in her hand. And, uh, is that a gun or a brick? <laughs> they're calling it a gun. A gun. I don't know what kind of a Oh, the brick gun. was Ignatz. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Ignatz. Yeah, this is Ignis. A little bit different. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a very nice figure. It's very nicely posable as I was handling her to getting her, getting her out of the box. And we discovered, we made a really neat discovery. Um, 
the stand that she comes with, I'm just going to turn this around so you can see this. This is a fairly typical sort of a setup. It has the jointed arm, so you can have her in midair. She attaches to it by a magnet. I don't know if Ryan can get a close-up of that, but that round disc, that round silvery disc you see embedded in there is a magnet. And there appears to be another friendly matching magnet in the upper part of her back. And so she attaches to that really well. And that's great because that way you don't have to have like a hole in the figure, like the, the Evangelion figure we had that had the yeah. hole in the rude place where you had to stick his support arm. And the, uh, this support arm, it's like jointed in three different places. Yeah. So you yeah. can pose her all kinds of yeah. ways. It can support her in all kinds of different ways. And she's very cool. This is beautifully sculpted. As I said, this, is, uh, this came out of the nice people from uh, Cerberus Project TM who do really, really nice work. Um, and uh, now one thing that we should point out about her is that uh, her lower garment, the skirt, will come off. Um, I couldn't quite figure out how to undo the belt. The belt seems to be in one piece, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, but you do it by detaching the drapes and then somehow, I guess maybe you just slide the belt off over her head or around her hips or something. Um, <laughs> so she can be naked? She can be, she can be in yeah, her she's got underpants. Little panties on. She's got little panties she's got on underneath it. Little pants. Um, Super small pants. The, and, and artist did bring up about the top. Now, um, I, 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 she, she does have pa detailed painted nipples under there. It, it oh, is visible. Dear. That's naughty. Um, I do not think that the Can top... we say nipples? Ask Ryan. Can we <laughs> sure say we nipples? can. Yeah, we just did. Can we say, what is it, aureola? Aureole. 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 Oh, okay. All right. All righty. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the, um, the top does not appear to come off. Have you pulled at it? Yes, I did. You did? I yes. didn't see you now, try. Now, we all know that... Right. Hey, Ryan, you want to try? Pull that pull that pull. No, no well, this is a family sure. show. Yeah, this, is, this is a family how show. How do we know if it comes off or not? You can try it later on your own, off camera, if you like. Okay, so it does not appear... It does not appear to come off. It actually does not off, appear to come off. as I said... I'm losing my bet. The top... Yeah, you're losing your bet. That's why I didn't take your bet. Sorry. Um, the top on any figure will come off if you try hard enough. But... Uh, you know, that's that's And if you're able to there. get this one off, apparently there's a nice surprise. Yeah. There's a nice surprise <laughs> under there. Should you show should Myth you decide to busted. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, she does come with a sword too. Her sword is actually the primary weapon she uses in the game, it's my understanding. But uh Sanamaru has it right now. Sanamaru uh, he's, he's stole got it, it sharp side up too. He's just trying to get into trouble he's anyway. Just, he can. Boy, I don't know, that that kid is uncontrollable. Good grief. Sword. Sword. And she does have her gun. The gun is cool. It's a gun on a stick. Is that, is that the amazing. magazine coming out the bottom? Yeah, I guess it it's is. It's like an extended magazine, probably. Oh. I've just seen it described as a gun, so that's just what I'm calling it. We all know I don't know anything about guns, as I proved in the episode <laughs> about the, uh, the Hot Toys baby doll, and I kept calling that <laughs> automatic a revolver. <laughs> that's OK. We're only girls. <laughs> I don't know anything about guns except for the fact that, like to keep as that another way. online review of the Hot Toys baby doll said, they're great for shooting people with. So, mm. aside from that, I really don't know anything about them, and I do apologize. She does have a couple of bazookas. <laughs> yes, she does. So big guns. Bazookas or bazookas? She's got a couple of big guns. Um, there are going to be other figures in this lineup coming out, coming up soon. And the interesting thing to note is that the next two coming out are also redheads. Oh dear. Uh, coming out in August, we're going to be having uh, Tamaki Kosaka from the video game Two Heart Two. She is also heavily loaded. She is also heavily loaded. Uh, and then um, after that, there's no release date set for this figure, but I know she's going to be really popular with everybody. And then it's going to be Yoko from Gurren Lagann. Oh wow. Yeah, so people are, I, I have seen pictures of a prototype of her, but no release date has been set at this time. And then uh, Yamato has also exhibited a prototype of Rei from Evangelion. With her hair painted red? No, not with her hair painted red, but there's also rumors that they're gonna also do Asuka from Evangelion. I mean, if you do Ray, you have to do Asuka, Oh, right? absolutely. And of course, Asuka is another, res another redhead, well, so. Ask a silly question. Yeah, then you're gonna get a silly answer. Um, so anyway, the release dates on uh, Yoko and Ray are not determined, and Asuka's actual existence is just kind of a rumor at this point, but I think this is a neat, a really, really nice. Um, I really like how they did this little 
Wink yeah, hair the little the little bat wing thing in her hair yeah. there. That's really cool. Well, this one strand. Oh out. yeah, too. yeah. Her her awesome? hair is really really cool. It's kind of, she's got this one strand here that's totally wild and it's just going the co the totally different direction from everything else. It is aesthetically pleasing. It yes. is. And the neat thing about her is this is a pretty big size figure. I mean, you know your your figmas and rebel techs they're like one twelfth scale. This is way bigger. I would call this. One eighth, possibly even one ninth scale, depending on how tall the character is. It's about the size of a Mego figure. Yeah, that that would put it at about one tenth. I scale? think Captain Kirk just is going to be a lucky man. <laughs> Shake it in his boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he'd 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 be all over that, wouldn't he? So to speak. Anyway, yeah, this is this is a neat new neat new figure you got to look into if you like ladies, if you like uh, redheads, if you like awesome posable figures. Now it's my turn. What's and this mystery thing you have? Here it is. It is the Cosmo Fleet Collection Grand Mechanics 2. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. It's a set now. It's sold by the randomly packed box of five. I don't I don't think they're randomly packed. There's five in the series. Uh -huh. And I am gonna open them up because these are awesome. They are Sunrise Mecca from the 80s. Mmm, cool. The I think 80s. there's tape along the side. Cicero would be spending the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's that's when we both actually got into anime. That's, that's right. Well, much. I was in the 70s, so oh, yeah. Well, I am no spring chicken. But here we go. Oh boy. That's well, nice they, they might be random. And here oh. are the five inside. And let's see if they actually say. No, they don't. So, so you just get to open boxed. them. They are blind boxed. I'm going to cry if they are not all in here because these are all pretty much, well, EDN I wasn't big on, but these are from Sunrise series that uh, did come out in the 80s, and I am going to open each of these. Oh, this side doesn't want to open very well. This is not going to be neatly opened. These are from Mega House, by the way. And oh, Mega House. They do nice stuff. They do. I didn't know Mega House did, did box, Sunrise blind properties. Box figures. Oh yeah, Mega House does blind boxes. I things. did not know that. I don't really associate them with. Uh... Ooh, some assembly required. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, we aren't going to assemble them, but we'll just show you. This is this has got to be the lovely angel from Dirty Pair. It's pink, so you get the stand, and then you get the pieces to put it together. And Let's see if they show. And that's there's a little sheet of instructions. Okay, well there. we aren't going to put together the lovely angel because I'm. It's okay, but I'm waiting for a different one. Yeah. Okay, so this was the lovely angel from Dirty Pair. And they do include a sheet of First. instructions in there, I see. Yeah, they do. Which yeah, is they a do. good thing. Here's the street of, <laughs> sheet of destructions. Yeah. All right, so that was one. But what I'm hoping for, I would really like to get, well, there's a couple in here I'd really like mm -hmm. to get. Everything except that one is the one I want uh -huh. to get. Watch, you're so, going to five lovely angels in here. Of course, now Dirty Pair, that was, you know, that was animated in 85, and it mm -hmm. was based on novels by Haruka Takachiho. Mm -hmm. He also wrote Crusher Joe. Mm. And I was real excited about the Minerva uh -huh. and the Fighter One that's in this line from mm -hmm. Crusher Joe. So let's mm -hmm. see if I got them. No, but, but, look, look, it's Giant Gorg. Hey, Giant, Giant Gorg. Gorg from, I think that was 84, uh -huh. it was an anime series. And this is the vehicle. It was just called the vehicle. The it's vehicle. It's like a little tank sort of jobby. Into the vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I'm just going to pull the tank out of here real quick. And the little Gorg. This is a little Gorg. Not quite so tall as we had hoped, Gorg. That's right. That's what we used to call the show back then. Not quite so tall as we had hoped, Gorg. Because he wasn't really all that big. Here's the little vehicle. It oh, has, wow. there's also additional parts, the, the wheels, it looks like, to put on there. Wow. Yeah, it's got really that's nice detailed. detail. That's nice. Wow. And that's and really clean, too. And then you Look also get something from the series mm -hmm. in this line. So you get both the, the notable vehicle, mm -hmm. which in this case was called the vehicle. The vehicle. Vehikuru. And something uh, uh, iconic from the series. And in this case, it's a little bitty giant gorg. That's Awesome! Look, Look at, at that. that! Wow! I think he. This is. They are not in scale because okay, Gorg well, was a good Gorg was bigger in relation mm -hmm. to this. Wow! I think. Look, they did like Maybe the panel lines on that and everything. Yeah, it's so tiny. That might be in scale. Lines. That might be in scale. I take that, that back. Is that is nice. That's, that's probably in scale. I think it is. So that is one of the nicest giant tiny little robots it's I've ever that seen. Great! It's a little giant Gorg. That is awesome. It's Wee Wee G Gorg. <laughs> Wow. I am such a fanboy. Okay, are. so I'm hoping for the Minerva. I'm hoping for the Minerva out of Crusher Joe. But, you know, there's other great things in this mm -hmm. line, too. There's a yeah. Bifom. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, there's something else. Oh yeah, the uh, solo ship with the Edeon. And mm -hmm. this is... This is the Janus with the little life arm. Awesome. Oh, neat. Now, I was, I was looking over this with you yesterday, and I remarked that I didn't think anybody had ever done a figure or a model or anything of the Janus. There's Am I the correct? Janus. Of course, there's all kinds of little antennas and jobbies to put in and it, too. And a stand, too. I, I don't know of a Janus. I do not know of a model Janus. That's really detailed, too. You, let's let me go ahead and hold that so that Ryan the, can the have Vifom a look at the kits top just recently, of it. Bondi's Vifom kits were recently re-released, like mm -hmm. a few months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I there was not a Janus among them. I don't know of one. That and the Janus made. is like the that's the training ship that the characters were all on, right? Correct? That the, that the kids take right. off on on the training right. ship to go off to try to find their parents. Right. And then here's a little Vifom. Oh, cool. Little wow, look kinda, at him go. That's awesome. And then awesome. kind of prop him in front of, yeah, it's a dynamic pose on the wow, Vipom. Wow, cool. And he's so teeny. And, oh. That's amazing. And, of course, they, they come with bases with the name of the ship. And it has like a little, looks like that would plug a into little, the base. A little diagram of it and everything. This, cool. The, the Janus will probably fit most easily on the base of any of these, so let me quick. Okay. It's a good thing Sanomaru isn't using this cutter, man. He'd probably... Nick it's himself. a good thing Sanomaru is off busying himself with the Ignis because I'd hate to think of him with small plastic eyes. I don't think that's how that fits on there. I think there's another in-between piece that goes. There, oh, there is. There is an in-between piece. Okay. Okay, well, I thought it would be an easy thing to show. But we awesome. get the Janus. And uh, we get we'll, the little we'll take photos phone. of the stuff assembled. And oh, cool. Oh, great. Yeah, so yeah I'll look forward to seeing photos to see later. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. poor lovely angel. I'm not taking it out. Okay, so far we've got three of the five. Yeah. So this leaves the solo ship and the Edeon mm -hmm. and Ooh, the Minerva. Minerva. So Minerva. let's hope, if this is another lovely angel, I'm going to cry. And it is the Minerva. Minerva. Hey! <laughs> Now, uh, Wave had come out with a Minerva a few years ago. You've got that on your desk, don't you? Yeah. It's beautiful. Minerva is awesome. And that was, it was like a 1 500th, maybe? It's I might be wrong. Just like off that the top big? of my head. Yeah. And it's it, pretty good it's size. fantastic. But, you know, this is much easier to display. Here it comes the Minerva <laughs> out of Crusher Joe. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is fantastic. Oh, down hey, goes Gorg. Gorg. This is, is out of Crusher Joe, which is an awesome anime. Uh, Crusher Joe is another one we would recommend people to check out, yeah. in addition to Wings yeah. of Oniamis. There was like a dozen novels it was based on. They were mm -hmm. written by Haruka Takachiho. A dozen? Yeah, yeah there's a right. dozen. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. there's like a dozen Crusher Joe novels. And then there was a movie in 83, mm -hmm. and then there were two OVAs in the late 80s and mm -hmm. the OVAs. I love the OVAs. Yeah, yeah, the second OVA, it's like 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 Final Weapon Ash. Mm -hmm. That's one of my that all time was, yeah. favorites. That is. But so the, cool. the original movie, I remember seeing it and, and it just blew me away. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah, the, the original wow. movie. Oh, it moves great. The music is wonderful. The music is fantastic. But for those of us with shorter attention spans, such as I, I really love the the OVAs. Oh yeah, yeah, because the they're like about awesome. a half hour long. And here's Fighter One. Wow. Look at how detailed that is yeah. for as tiny as it is. There was also a Fighter 2, but that is not in this collection. And this may be in scale. Wow. Cool. The Vifom is not in scale with the Janus, but this Fighter 1, oh, that might be in scale. Crusher Joe is wonderful. You need Check to it see out. it. One more to go. One more to go. One more chance. One more chance to get another lovely angel. <laughs> I pray it's not. And here, will it be the solo ship and the Edeon? You know, know, the Edeon, I am so, I'm still hacked off at Tomino about the Edeon. He, he, he might be watching this. Yeah, I, I, this is the solo ship. All right. And there is the Edeon. Wow. And the solo ship folds down. Well, let me take it out of the... Fantastic. Of course, the, all of these are going to have you know more detail once you take them out and put them together because there's all kinds of little pieces, parts that also fit on there. Wow, this is the wow, solo that's ship. Amazing! Look it's at that. It's pretty involved. Wow. <laughs> it keeps unfolding, not unlike Edeon. And uh, I can see what you're going to be spending your lunch hour doing today. Ooh, <clears throat> I got much to play with. So this is the solo ship. Mm -hmm. and it has jobbies that go on the side because mm -hmm. it flies through space. And it needs those jobbies, which most people would call engines. But it, <laughs> oh, oh, you get two different Edeons with it. Ooh. 
See, like you could make earrings out of them if you You know, the Edeon is a mondo, huge, big bot. It's probably mm -hmm. one of the biggest robots ever. Mm -hmm. And this is in scale. So that's oh, just so how tiny. hugely vast the solo ship is. There are two Edeons because one of them, he, he gets carried on the solo ship. So it's like a waterbed for a robot. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and this is a huge, huge ship. I mean, this whole mm -hmm. large group of people lives on it. Like a generation ship? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Except they found it. Oh. They found the ship on a, on a planet. Huh. They found it on planet Solo, and that's uh -huh. why it's called the Solo ship. Well, that, I'd probably yeah. do the same thing. Then. So the Edeon can, you know, Just kind of ride on, back, it, on like his Mondo cool. Mecca waterbed. Or you can have him come out. There he is. Ooh, he is wow. filled with little tiny Ede. <laughs> that is so, that's amazingly detailed for being as small as it is. Yeah, I, mean, it'll be I know I keep cooler saying once that. The, once the oh, yeah. rocket jobbies get put on. Well, you're going to have cool stuff there. on your desk once you get Lots these all put more together. Little pieces part. So yeah, for an 80s, for an 80s anime fan, if, if you loved uh, Sunrise, it was mm -hmm. Nippon Sunrise back then. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you loved Sunrise Mecca mm -hmm. from the 80s, this is a wonderful, wonderful set. This is Grand Mechanics 2 from, <laughs> from the nice people from, at Mega House. From the nice folks at Mega House. You can make a mess such as I did and probably get one of each. It looks like there's one of yeah. each in that line because there's yeah. five. That's pretty and awesome. And I am really happy. <laughs> and look, Giant Gorg is bigger. Giant so at last, feels much better justice has now. been served. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have some questions. Questions. We have questions. Woo. And some uh, comments and some mm -hmm. demands. We have some demands. demands. Oh, dear. W8, oh, I guess this would be Wave Rider. Mm -hmm. W8VERID3R, Wave Rider, says, please, please review Black Widow from Hot Toys when it's released. Mm. 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 Nice figure. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what? We I know can, Jim is buying. We will one. probably be able to borrow her from Jim as well. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see can, what we can, can do. If we can pry her away from Jim, then we will. <laughs> He'll be in the corner. We'll have the peanut gallery again. Well, oh boy, that'll be great. <laughs> we'll act up. Okay. Yeah. We will. We will definitely. Yeah. We'll definitely hope to do check that. into that. Okay. Um, Little Busters ninety one mm -hmm. asked, any chance for you to show any other Metal Gear Solid figures? There's something to keep in uh, mind. We do have a few others. Okay. In the warehouse, so, you know. It's a matter of checking to mind. see what we've got yeah. in stock. So yeah. yeah, we'll check into that. We'll definitely check into that. Okay, Mr. Sound Blaster ninety asks, would you guys be against showing a robot damashi? Showing it what? I knew you were going to say something. Oh, like the that. lights flashing. Uh -oh. uh oh. Wow. Well, I think that means we're going to have to end the show. Oh. We're about out of tape. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> oh boy. Bummer. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, this is it. This is the, it. End. the end. So stay tuned to the next. And we'll see you next time on, on Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.